Alright, hello YouTube, or Ableton users. This is Brandon. I am going to show you how to add multiple samples to a single key. It's very simple. Um, I'm making this video because it took me a long time to figure it out, and it drove me freaking crazy. So, to get started, this is what yours should probably look like. You, you, it has to be on a MIDI track go into your library which is located right here let's make this bigger so you guys can see go to your instruments and then go down to drum rack you're gonna take the drum rack you are gonna drag it and drop it now if you notice down here that is pretty much every key on your keyboard and even more um, if you have a bunch of launch pads or MIDI pads, this is how you're going to map them. So right now, if you can see those little yellow things, that is me hitting the keys. So what we're going to do, let's get started, is we are going to add a something to one of those keys. And, you know, we're going to do drums. Now how you do this is you need to use a sample. These are going to be located in here. This is what yours should look like when you open it for the first time. And how you'll find yours if you're just going to use your default is samples, waveforms, and then you have your drums and special effects or whatever. But I, I'm not going to use these. I'm going to use my own because I have a bunch and they are my plugins. Um, I'm going to use it from this one. So let's make a, a kick at for, for first. Let's do that. So what I'm going to do is bass hits, drum hits. Let's do kicks. Now it's... That one sounds kind of cool, right? So let's add it. Let's And let's pick a different one. Actually, this one's kind of crazy. We'll try it out. I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. But here's the trick: you're gonna hit Command, hold Command, click on it, and drag and drop it just like you did it before. Now, if you look at it, it's gonna say multi. Now, what that just did is it's multi because there's two keys. I'm gonna hit it. Actually, that sounds pretty tight. Um. Let's add uh, even a bass hit on on top of that. Let's try that one. So again, command, drag and drop. So now that sounds pretty dope. So now we need to have a hit or a kick. I mean, actually. Uh, cl a clap, snap, whatever you want to call it. Let's get it to play. That one sounds pretty tight, so I'm going to add it. Let's go. Let's even add that one. Oh, wait, I got it. So I command, click, drag, multi. And, and I mean, you could keep. You could keep adding. I mean, it might get too crazy eventually, but let's let's try adding that one as well. That sounds pretty tight. Now, I mean, the the things are endless. So, like, you you could even add a, a voice onto it, and and you've heard this before. I know you've heard it, but uh, let's see. Get off the get and give me that beat. So so like, if I same thing, I could add this to the hit, and now I'm gonna have. Give me that. Give me. Give me. Give me that. Give me that. Give me. Give me. Give me that. Give me that. Give me. Give me that beat. Give me that beat. Give me that. Give me that. Alright, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I hope it taught you some things. Um, thank you very much for listening.
Peace out. Stop recording now.